Hello, everyone. The news summary for today when it comes to the war in Ukraine is pretty typical in that Ukrainian armed forces are focusing on military objects and making progress at the front lines, while Russian armed forces continue to pummel Ukrainian civilians. Case in point, um, there's been more shelling uh, against Odessa, uh, Ukraine's big port city and a crucial hub for exporting uh, Ukrainian grain and um, other products, taking them out into the Mediterranean uh, to the European and African markets. Uh, there have been casualties, at least two people that we know of were killed. Um, also, uh, there have been more casualties, more shelling in the city of Kherson. Meanwhile, um, Ukrainian armed forces are doing their absolute best to target um, just Russian military objects. And um, when they're saying that uh, Russia's Bransk and Kursk regions were targeted, again, this is misleading. What they're doing is they're targeting military bases, army barracks, um, military transportation hubs in those cities. So they're not firing, they're not sending drones against apartment buildings, hospitals, etc., etc. And there, it appears uh, that we have reached a compromise with Poland. I'm not sure whether this means that Poland still gets to trade its own grain on its own territory, which it should. But Poland had agreed to provide a safe corridor for Ukraine to export grain across dry land instead of across the sea uh, in order to reach European markets. So I'm sure there is still a, a lot of contention about this uh, point between Ukraine and Poland, but I'm also sure that um, the governments of both countries uh, know who the real enemy is. So I'm hoping that the dialogue continues and they're going to continue reaching t some type of compromise that does not hurt both countries. As Ukraine uh, has been steadily uh, hitting the uh, Russian headquarters in Sevastopol, the Russian Black Navy Fleet headquarters, um, now there are reports that they may have killed the commander of uh, Russia's Black Sea Fleet. So, so far I've seen two sources confirm this. Um, I'm waiting for additional information. Again, at this point, I feel no pity whatsoever for any high or low-ranking Russian military or civilian official on the Ukrainian territory. They're not there to do anything good. They were uninvited, and the best thing they can do is get the hell out. Um, there's been now an official report that Russian media uh, has been promoting genocide, and my big question is, what took you so long to figure this out. So the chairman of the Commission of Inquiry on Ukraine, Eric Mose, uh, had addressed the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva. This is what this is all about. And he said that uh, there were comments transmitted by Russian media. They uh, constituted the incitement to genocide. Guys, those comments have been going on for ages. They were going on even before Russia um, fully invaded Ukraine. They've been going on since Russia took Crimea and Ukraine resisted. There's been comments like Ukraine needs to be turned into a nuclear wasteland. They have been comments like... Um, no pity, don't spare anyone, including the children, because the children are just going to grow up and take revenge. Of course they will. What reason do they have to do otherwise? Considering Russia had barged in and murdered everyone in sight. So yeah, heck yeah, Russia has been promoting genocide. 
for a long time. The question is, again, what is the world community going to do about it? That is the big one. And I am anxiously waiting for an answer.